All right, guys. So today I decided to do a different type of top five list when it comes to earbuds. I mean, I've noticed that school is ending in a lot of areas. It's obviously getting hotter. So it got me thinking, what are some of the best earbuds for the summer? So I decided to put a list of my top five. Now this is not reviews of each one. Uh, I will put a link in the description so you can check out the original reviews. Uh, there will also be links if you wanna check them out on Amazon. But I went into this list having specific things that I was looking for. Obviously, I felt they needed to have some sort of water resistance. That way, if you're gonna be by the pool, if you're gonna be at the beach, you don't have to worry about those kind of things. I also felt having active noise canceling and an ambient mode was important as well because if you're laying out in the sun and you don't want to hear a lot of the stuff around you, it's nice to be able to block that out. But you also will need an ambient mode if you're going to be riding your bike or just doing anything else in public where you may need to hear your surroundings. And then really the only other thing that I was looking for is that the earbuds needed to have a dynamic sound. I just feel like that fits the vibe of summer a little bit more. So that's really the only you know specific things that I was looking for. And again, this is my list and there's obviously gonna be some that you guys may recommend, which just let me know in the comment section below. But let's go ahead and jump into number five. Now, number five on the list is the Soundpeats T2. And I think this is going to be the best overall value on this list because they do come in retailing at 70 bucks. But right now on Amazon, because they're on sale and because there's a coupon code, they're priced all the way down to 40 bucks. But what makes this pair special is they have very impressive hybrid active noise canceling. Uh, they have a very impressive ambient mode and they come in with an IPX5 rating. So you don't have to worry if they get splashed on. You don't have to worry if it starts to rain. But this is definitely going to be one of those pairs you can't submerge into water. And that's kind of the theme with the rest of these on the list. Anything that has active noise canceling, I've noticed, usually sits around the IPX4 or IPX5 rating. So none of these on the list you will actually be able to submerge into water. Uh, some things to keep in mind with this being the lowest priced earbud on the list, uh, you don't get things like Qi wireless charging, you don't get fast charging with this pair, but speaking of the charging, this pair actually has the best battery life compared to all of the other ones on the list. Now it gets up to about 10 hours on the earbuds itself with around 30 hours using the case. And if you even have them with the noise canceling on, you still can get up to eight hours on the earbuds. And I think that is very impressive in itself. But other than that, the sound on these definitely checks the box of having a dynamic sound signature. The treble can get quite bright on this pair, especially if you listen at higher volumes. And the bass definitely has a lot of presence. It just has a really nice punch to it. Now it's not bloated, it's not overpowering. It just kind of gels well with that really bright treble. And the mids on these always have vocalists, no matter what you're listening to, sounding pretty up front. So you don't have to worry that your vocalist is gonna get lost if you're listening to anything a little chaotic. And with having a sound signature like this mixed with really good noise canceling and excellent battery life uh, and a very impressive value coming in at 40 bucks, that's what put the Soundpeats T2s in at number five. Now moving over to number four on the list. Now this is another one of those companies that usually gives you a lot for your money. Uh, number four is the Earfun Free Pro 2s. Now these normally retail for 79 bucks, uh, but right now they're on sale also on Amazon where you can pick them up for $59. So about $20 more than the Soundpeats, but that extra $20 is giving you a low latency mode, Qi wireless charging, and fast charging that the Soundpeats don't. So, you know, if that's worth the extra 20 bucks, that would be my reason to recommend these. But on top of that, they do have Bluetooth 5.2, and they also have very impressive active noise canceling and an ambient mode that just makes it very easy to hear your surroundings. So those already check a lot of the boxes, uh, but this pair also uses six microphones for phone calls. And I think this pair does an excellent job of picking up my voice uh, and it does a very good job of blocking out my surroundings if I'm anywhere where there's a lot going on. And another thing that I felt made this a really good pair to put on the list uh, is this pair also uses wingtips. So if you're somebody that does a lot of things actively outdoors, you don't have to worry that they're gonna fall out or shift around 
while you're doing those activities. And then the IP rating on these come in rated at IPX5. So again, they're gonna be fine against splashes and rain and all of those things. And the battery life on these is probably the weakest point because the battery life you're going to get up to about six hours on the earbuds with around 30 hours using the case. But luckily these do have a fast charge feature. So if you forget to charge your earbuds and they're dead when you go to use them, uh, you can charge them for 10 minutes and that's gonna give you two hours of use. And then outside of that, the sound on these definitely have that very dynamic approach. Everything is very forward with this pair. In fact, the bass on these really do even kind of hit that subwoofer type feel. I mean, it picks up lower frequencies a little bit better, especially compared to the sound peats. And the treble on these is not quite as bright as the sound peats, but it just feels very well balanced with the bass. And again, the mids on these will always leave you feeling like no matter what you're listening to, uh, the vocalist still kind of stands out front a little bit more than the rest of the music. And so it just makes it where I can recommend it to pretty much anybody that's listening to any genre of music. And so that's why I put the Earfun Free Pro 2s in at number four. Now the top three list, this is where the price definitely jumps up quite a bit. And the only reason I'm putting the Sony WF-1000 XM4s in at number three is I feel like the price on these is what pushes these away from most people. The Sonys do come in at $279. So like I said, this is not a cheap pair of earbuds, but I do feel like these have the best active noise canceling compared to any earbud out there. So if that's one of the most important things to you, in my opinion, I feel like it's worth spending the extra money to get the best of the best when it comes to noise canceling. But another thing that I think is an advantage to this pair is I do feel like Sony has one of the best apps out there. They just give you control over a lot of different things. Uh, you get 360 audio, but you also get that adaptive sound where it will just kind of change based off your surroundings. And then this pair also has its own processor, so it will upscale your audio so that you're getting the best audio you can, even if it's not from the best source. And it also is high res audio capable with that LDAC support, which is a huge plus with listening to earbuds because it does make a huge difference if you have a phone that also has LDAC playback. Now some other things, the ambient mode obviously is very good. Uh, the microphones that this pair has is doing such a good job with the noise canceling that it also turns around and does a very good job with ambient mode. Things around you sound pretty natural and it's easy to carry on a conversation without actually having to take these earbuds out. But this pair also has an auto speak to chat feature. So if it picks up that you're talking, it will lower the volume down. And that just kind of makes it, you know, where you're not having to do anything to just start talking to somebody. It just does a lot of the things for you. Now, as far as the IP rating on this pair, it does come in rated at IPX4. Now the battery life on these, I feel like is pretty high up there with the rest of these on the list. Uh, on the earbuds themselves, you're going to get around eight hours of use, where with the charging case, you're going to get about 24 hours total. Now these do have a fast charge feature where a five minute charge will get you an hour's worth of use. And then also the case on these do have Qi wireless charging. So that is always a plus because you don't have to keep up with an extra charging cable. And then outside of that, on top of having some of the best noise canceling you can possibly buy, I also feel like they have some of the best sound quality you're gonna find on a pair of earbuds as well. But the huge plus with this pair, and this kind of goes back to the app, this pair just responds to EQing a lot better than some other earbuds. So the Sony's to me is just one of the best complete overall packages, but it's also one of those where you're going to have to pay that price tag to be able to get all of these features. So that's kind of what bumps them back a little bit, but they're still one of the best pairs out there. And that's why I put the Sony WF-1000 XM4s in at number three. So now moving over to number two on the list. And actually number one and number two, I've fought a lot with switching either one of these. So I think you can go with either one uh, and you would be completely happy. But number two on the list, I decided to put the brand new One More Evos. Now this pair normally retails for 169 bucks. Although right now on Amazon, you can pick them up for $139. And the reason I put these on the list is the noise canceling. 
Uh, definitely caught me off guard because it's easily one of the best out there as well. In fact, it is very close to the Sony's. Same thing with the ambient mode. The ambient mode does a very good job of picking up my surroundings. I could easily carry on a conversation without actually having to take the earbuds out. And this pair also has high res audio playback by being able to support LDAC playback as well. So just like the Sony's, you're getting that higher end Bluetooth codec. This pair also has different levels of noise canceling, including wind reduction. So if you're gonna be using these and you're riding a bike, you can switch it over into that mode and it will cut out the wind from affecting your audio. Now on top of all that, this pair does have Qi wireless charging. It is using six microphones for phone calls, which I think it does a very good job with. Outside of that, it does have the IPX4 rating and the battery life is right there on par with the Sony's because you're going to get around eight hours on the earbuds themselves with around 28 hours using the case. But the fast charge feature on these is very impressive. If you just happen to pick the earbuds up and they are dead, a quick 15 minute charge will get you four hours of use. And that's easily some of the best that I've seen out there. And the sound quality on these, I'm definitely gonna say out of the box is not the best. And again, I do feel like this is on purpose because this pair works with One More's app and more specifically the sound ID feature, which takes you through a hearing test to try to basically personalize an EQ setting based off what it thinks you like. And the sound is just so much better once you go through that test than what it is out of the box. And again, I feel like this is on purpose just to push the sound ID feature. Uh, but once I did that, I just love the way that these sound and in fact I have been reaching for these a lot more than I have um, a lot of the other earbuds that I have in my collection so that in itself says a lot and that is why I put the one more Evos in at number two so number one on the list and this is probably not much of a surprise because I still feel like even though these came out a little while back this is one of the best pairs that you could just recommend to anybody, and that is the Soundcore Liberty 3 Pros. Now this pair is another one that retails for 169 bucks, which I do think is the price tag on it right now, but I've seen them go on sale for quite a bit where they hover around $130. And at $130, you're getting a pair that is up there when it comes to the active noise canceling, also the ambient mode. You're also looking at another pair that has that high res audio playback because it is also capable of LDAC playback. And on top of that, the app that the Liberty 3 Pros have is probably the closest app to competing with the Sony's. I feel like you just have a lot of control over your audio, uh, you just have a lot of control over different settings, and so it just feels like you're getting a lot of control just by having that app compatibility. Uh, it also has Qi wireless charging. It's also using six microphones for phone calls. And the IP rating on these is IPX4. So this again is kind of on par with the rest of these on the list. The battery life is also very impressive coming in at eight hours on the earbuds and about 32 hours using the case. This pair also has a fast charge feature where a 15 minute charge will get you three hours of use. But I think what puts these in at number one for me is the sound quality. I, I just, something about this pair, and it's maybe because of the coaxial dual drivers that they're using, but this pair kind of has a sparkle when it comes to treble. It's kind of hard to explain, but if you listen to each one of these earbuds side by side, there's something about the treble on these I like more than the others. I still feel like the bass on these is competing with the other ones on the list because it definitely does not lack in punch. And the mid range, I feel like, is also one of the best on this list because vocalists always felt up front no matter what I was listening to. Now I am somebody that listens to metal probably more than anything else and that is the one genre if you don't have the right earbud or headphone it's easy to just lose vocalists or lose the riffs and guitars and the Liberty 3 Pros just absolutely nails this genre uh, so I enjoy using these but again I have been quite surprised I've been reaching for the one mores a little bit more than I have the Liberty 3 Pros so again I don't think you can go wrong with any of these on the list but one two and three are some of the best you're going to find in the earbud market in general. 
So guys, that wraps up my video on my top five earbuds for the summer. Uh, if you have any that you would recommend or you think there's any that I missed, definitely let me know in the comment section. But guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.